channel so in this video i'm going to show you how to get your head measurements for a custom wig okay so you go ahead make your order on the website but you want a custom fit in order to get a custom fit you need some measurements on my website if you scroll all the way to the bottom there is a chart with a detailed explanation on how you can measure your head and this video will also help you in how to measure your head so that you're getting the accurate fit. If you don't send in your measurements, then I usually will just go by a standard 22 size, um, a circumference of a 22. And um, yeah, but if you want it to be fitted to your head, then you're going to want to send me these measurements, okay? So, okay, so the very first measurement that you're going to need is the circumference. So you're going to take a soft measuring tape. You can get this measuring tape from the dollar store, Walmart, basically anywhere in the um, craft section or sewing section. They'll have these. Shouldn't be no more than a dollar, maybe two dollars. So we're going to measure on the inches side, not the other side, okay? We're measuring in inches and we're going to go ahead and do the circumference. So I'm going to place my measuring tape. Now, if you notice, mine don't have the little gold piece. I took that off, but... You're going to take it and wrap it all the way around your head till it meets. And mine is pretty average because if you can see, right at a 22. So a 22 is considered standard. Then you have like a 21. That's a small. If you have a 23 size head, that is a large. Now, one of the things you do want to make sure before you do your measurements is that your hair is braided down or flat. You cannot take your measurements with the wig on. You cannot take your measurements with braids in your head or anything bulky. You need your hair to be flat, which my hair is braided back like I would put my wig on. So this is the perfect way to get my measurements, okay? So the next measurement is going to be the front to nape. So that's starting at the front of your head all the way to the back where your hair stops. You can kind of feel where it stops. So I'm going to put my finger here and that'll be my front to nape, which is like a 13. The next measurement is going to be ear to ear. And that will be from this side of the ear. And take it all the way over to this side. And this is ear to ear across the head. So basically, right where your ear starts over your head, all the way to where the hair is on the other side of your head. So this is another measurement. And then temple to temple. That's going to be around here. Which will be the temple of your hair. Kind of where your hairline is to the temple of this side, temple to temple. And then there's also a measurement that is from ear to ear across the forehead. So that will be right where your hair starts, kind of like your side burns to the other side. That's a measurement. It's a little bit different from all the way across the head. And then the final measurement will be the nape area, which that's going to be where your hair starts in the back of the neck to the other side where your hair stops in the back of the neck. You're going to want to take that measurement also. Okay. So all of those measurements are the measurements that you need to send in if you would like a custom fitted wig okay not all those measurements may be used for a closure wig but they are very important for a front wig but if you just send me all of those measurements i will use the ones that's needed so that you can get the correct size for your custom head so i hope that helped you all and i'll see you guys in another helpful tips video bye y'all